Okay, I'm going to show you a quick overview of how we saved a load of money by doing a job ourselves. Um, we set out to try and insulate our uh, conservatory, which uh, is quite a common problem. Here you can see some quick images of uh, what, roughly where we're at now. And then I'm going to switch over to some time lapse video of how we got on with the task. It wasn't uh, many uh, professionals that were very willing to engage with us but we did find some good people who helped us along the way so here we started out in the morning um, this is the beginning of february so it's pretty chilly out there and uh, we started by uh, ripping off the uh, trims that keep the glazing uh, basically compression fitted into the the frames on the roof of the conservatory those uh, basically just lift up there's a couple of um, screws on the end caps as well that hold those in pulled out the old gutters it became a little bit more uh, tricky as we got close to the um, house you can't quite see in this um, section but there's an existing part of the roof that cuts into the corner of the conservatory there that we had to try and work around. Uh, the end uh, caps at the gable end are a bit trickier, but we just worked our way across and just slid them down. Luckily on the first day I had uh, three, uh, th three others that came and helped me, so there was four of us to unclip all of this and take it apart. The So the aluminium... Um, uh, supports there are all held together with uh, 10 millimeter uh, nuts um, so you can see we just un unbolted all those rafters from the ridge and from the wall plate and then pulled that ridge uh, piece out and the uh, wall plates there are all screwed down from the top down into the frames and they are just an aluminium profile, uh, just an upright, They're really quite slim. And I could see why, um, apart from the issue of the glass, the aluminium was conducting all of the cold and in and uh, all of the uh, heat in during the summer. Um, they were held down by a, a remarkable amount of silicon sealant. So <laughs> we had to uh, cut a lot of that back and um, you can't see a lot of what we're doing here, but we're just clearing up the flashing that uh, uh, sealed between the existing roof and the house. Uh, we also come back in a second, you'll see that we uh, come back with uh, some sharp scrapers and some blades and we're clearing off all of the silica and all of the seal and all of the remnants, um, ready to start fixing the new roof kit on. Um, I, I can say at this point that the uh, fabricators who helped us out really pragmatic and worked with a, a kind of unique issue that we had for this type of style of conservatory all of the other professionals were telling us that we had to change the gable end frames because you can see in the corners uh, where the gable end is 100 millimeters taller than the side frames those window frames on the side so to get around that our fabricator um, was a uh, quite uh, creative in using some of the uh, composite uh, profiles that they use on, on their orangery kits. Um, so these are a 100 mil by 50 mil box section. Um, there are a carbon fiber reinforced uh, GRP profile. They, um, they do have, um, although they're GRP and so there's not really any cold bridging to worry about it's not just an empty cavity inside those uh, block profiles uh, there's also it's foam filled so they are uh, insulated as well and as you saw we laid down a thick uh, bead of sealant um, and now we're sandwiching the second one on that right hand side um, where the windows did open we screwed them from the uh, bottom up as well as uh, from the top down uh, I think we went with 300 mil spacings here um, just to keep it nice and even um, and so we're just uh, dry testing and then we were just adjusting a couple of bits because we had to we had to work around that existing part of the roof that I was talking about earlier maybe in one of my later videos I'll get some uh, footage or some clips of how that uh, all work or how that all came together and that was quite a tricky bit so again we're just repeating on our left hand side here now um, just a thick bead of sealant uh, first of all and um, 
then we're going to lay on the profiles here, the box section, um, which just forms like a, a just basically a spacer so we can fit the Leka ring beam on. So again, we've just been sandwiching those down. You can see us just test fit and dry fit in the um, ring beam. And then again, a thick layer of sealant. And now you can see where this uh, Leka ring beam uh, meets up perfectly with the gable end frames now that we've put those 100 mil of spacing in there. Um, so once again, just a thick bead of sealant to settle that on there. These, uh, the kit, uh, w so we uh, measured the inner dimensions of the conservatory to the uh, building back wall and then to the inside of the window frames, set the dimensions to the fabricator who uh, then they constructed this kit. So uh, luckily we measured all the angles absolutely spot on thanks to my friend with his digital angle finder and um, we're just here just working with the ridge beam and um, we were working uh, what you didn't see in shot was getting the other end which is two um, two rafters but as wall plates so they they're bolted directly into the wall as well as screwed into the ring beam as well and so now we've, we're getting this ridge in um, there's a little bit of uh, jiggling around to make sure that gable end was completely plumb level straight in every dimension before we we screwed down those rafters to hold that in the right position this was really my objective for day one was just to get the existing roof off get the uh, get the ridge beam up there I knew if I had the ridge beam up there then really I could just work away at it slowly over the, the next few days um, but knowing that I had uh, plenty of uh, hands to help uh, I wanted to go as far as we could as you can see it was you know early February so it got dark pretty late um, we were conscious of our neighbors but it's it's probably only like a three or four in the afternoon at this point so we just decided to continue to plow on seeing how quickly and easily these rafters went in we just set about um, just dry fitting the PIR insulation so that we would have something uh, just for the night and um, you can see we just put on some lights in the upstairs bedroom just to help us out a little bit um, Working on ladders was not ideal. I probably should have arranged to uh, get myself a tower to put up inside the conservatory. Definitely would have helped us, but uh, you know we may do with a couple of couple of basic <laughs> household ladders. And we're just we found uh, at one point that we put the ridge beam in backwards, which structurally made no difference. But the fabricator had pre-marked where all of the rafters should meet the ridge beam. If we put the ridge beam in the right way around, we wouldn't have had to do all the measuring, test fitting with the insulation, um, in and out. We could have just lined the rafters up with the markings on the ridge beam, and it would have been really straightforward. But uh, you know, that's a beginner beginner mistake. So we're just kind of coming to the end of day one now, and that's how we wrapped up for the day. None of the PIR is um, permanently fitted in. In day two, I'll show you how I took that all back out and um, just uh, making some quick temporary fits here around that uh, corner. So you can see this is what it looks like um, during day two. So in the next video, I'll cover how we uh, permanently fixed all that PIR in there, how we uh, taped it with foil tape as a vapor barrier. So come back for the next video. And if you've got any questions or anything that I haven't covered, then please be sure to put it in the comments. Send me a question and I'll cover it in one of the next videos.